Hi kids, the learning intention for this video is I can demonstrate an understanding of many to one correspondence. We'll come back to that and what that might mean in a moment. Here I've created a pictograph. Pictograph uses pictures rather than perhaps graph lines we might see in a bar graph you might be familiar with. This pictograph I've made up is showing how many apples were eaten in a week by Miss Brittany, Mr Tony, Mr Brush, Mr Weather, Miss Lowan and Miss Chung. In this very simple pictograph, one picture of an apple does equal or represent one apple. I've written that at the top here. So to read this pictograph, we would simply count the apples and that would be how many apples each person ate. So for Miss Brittany, it would be one apple. For Mr. Tony, it would be two apples. We could also look at the numbers down at the bottom of the graph, which go up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That might be a quicker way to count the number of apples that Mr. Wetherill ate. Looking at the number 6 there, which lines up with the pictures of the apples. So that was a one-to-one -one correspondence. That is a tricky word. Corresponding, matching up, equaling. So one picture here equals one. Let's look at a different example. Again, I've made this up. This shows how many books were read in one year. But this time, one picture of a book does not represent one book. One picture of a book represents two books. This might be helpful sometimes when we need to deal with really big numbers. We can have less pictures on the page and perhaps fit it onto, onto a sheet or onto a piece of paper, uh, which we might not do if we actually drew a book for every single book that was read. So let's have a look at Mr. Brosh. In this graph, we would need to count two books for every picture of a book. So I'm going to go across the line, across the horizontal line from Mr. Brush's name, counting the books. I've got two, four, six, eight. But then there's a half a book. If one picture of a book equals two books, then what would half a picture of a book equal? You might have guessed it would equal one book. So for Mr. Brosh, it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, and one more, that would be 9. If you go down to the numbers at the bottom of the page, and you look directly underneath the, that half a book of Mr. Brosh's, you would see that it lines up halfway between 8 and 10. And of course, the number that would go there would also be 9. Sometimes we need to deal with much, much larger numbers. So I came up with this example of bees. In this case, one bee will equal 100 bees. Now, sometimes you might not be told what the picture represents in terms of how many a picture represents. So if we were not sure if we had to figure that out, to show our understanding of this concept, here's what we might do. Down at the bottom of the page, this x-axis, which is where the numbers are, 0, 200, 400, 600, and so on, let's just look between 0 and 200, and let's see how many pictures of bees are in that space. If I look at Hive 1, there are two pictures of bees in between 0 and 200. So I could share 200 amongst those two pictures and work out that each picture would be worth 100 Bs. So I'll type that back in here. Okay, let's have a look then at Hive 3. How many Bs does Hive 3 have? 100, 
200, 300, 300 bees. Once again, we've got a hive here, which has a half a picture. That is hive six. How many bees would hive six have? Well, 100, 200, and then a half a picture. If a whole picture of a bee equals 100 bees, half a picture of a bee would be half a hundred. Half of 100 is 50. So it would be 100, 200, and 50. There would be 250 bees in hive 6. We could come down to the bottom to read this graph as well. So rather than counting hive 5 with lots of pictures of bees, we could come along the bottom numbers and see which number lines up with hive 5. You might see that the pictures go all the way up to the line above the number 1,200. So there are 1,200 bees in hive 5. Let's look back at that learning intention. I can demonstrate an understanding of many to one correspondence. Many to one means that one picture in a pictograph is representing more than one. With the books, one picture of a book represented two books. And with the bees, the picture of a bee represented 100 bees. The next few slides will give you an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding of many-to-one correspondence. Good luck.